Hey everyone, Jonathan Rose, Active Day Trader, and today we're going to answer the question, what's Vega in options? A lot of people think Vega is volatility. It's not. There's a very important difference. I was a market maker on the floor of the Chicago Board Options Exchange for five years. I have a complete understanding of options, a complete understanding of the Greeks. Many of my clients tell me that the Greeks are confusing or intimidating. So what would really be a big help is below in the comments, let me know your thoughts about the Greeks. Do you use them? Do you find them confusing? Do you have a complete understanding? Do you have any questions about the Greeks? I'll get back to each one of you. Let's go look at an options chain. Let's look at overstock. You can really choose any option. We're gonna talk about Vega. So Vega is just gonna tell us how much an option is gonna move based on a 1% move in that specific options volatility. So I have you on overstock here, OSTK. I picked it because it's a volatile stock. Right now the volatility is about 67% in September. Here's what Vega is, 30, 40. So let's look at the at the money. The at the money is gonna be the closest to it is $30.50. Over here is Vega and Vega is three cents. This is the Delta. This is the Vega. So all this is saying is that if overstock OSTK volatility drops by 1%, if it goes from 67.22 implied to 66.22 implied, the 30 and a half call options are going to lose 3 cents because of that overall move. For those out there that are trading options without using volatility, well, Vega is not going to really pertain to you. But the other thing, if you're trading options without using volatility, you really don't want to do that. The only subjective component of options valuation, the only thing we're really trying to figure out is volatility. So it's really important to understand what your Vega is, but more importantly, the Vega of your overall portfolio. A lot of people follow the VIX. There's nothing wrong with following the VIX. When the VIX drops, all options are going to be dragged down. Now, overstock doesn't move directly with the VIX, but if the VIX goes from 15 to 11, you better believe that this volatility is going to go from 67 to 65 to 63, something like that. The same thing if the market starts crashing, the VIX explodes higher. Well, all volatility across the board is going to go higher. So this might go to 70.17. And if it does that, these 30 and a halfs, are going to rally nine cents just based on that one specific move. So what do you think? Does that make sense? Leave something in the comments. Let me know. Yeah, that made sense or no, still confused. And the next couple of videos, we're going to expand on this lesson. Thanks a lot, guys. My name is Jonathan Rose, owner of Active Day Trader.